the Irish, Cajuns, Acadians, uh, on and on and on. But yeah, um, there's a reason for that. Like you said, that the, the Irish and, and the blacks have been persecuted the most. Well, I mean, they put up the biggest fight against Rome and, you know, they lasted for a very long time. The Moors, especially, you know, the Columbus and the 1492 nonsense. Well, that was all kicked off by the quote Jews, the Irish <laughs> being kicked out of Spain, the Moors, the Jews. Again, Jew had a completely different um, definition in those times than it does now. It wasn't a racial group. It was a, you know, a class of people. And you brought up the music, too. Well, the Irish are, you know, in, in this time period, were the most musically oriented culture there was. But yeah, so again, this is the whole rebranding. And, you know, 1492 Columbus wasn't looking for a new world. He was chasing the remnants of these families. Um, again, many of the old bards of Ireland considered America Ireland the Great. And, you know, old Masonic literature verbatim says Atlantis isn't an island in the ocean, it was America. And that the narrative was created that there was this sunken island to get everyone's attention away from America. Um, you know, the Egyptians say their homeland was um, the Red Lands in the West. The Irish have a very similar explanation. Um, and when you study Mesoamerican culture, um, you find that there was a civil civil war in early Mesoamerica, Mesopotamia, and that uh, a queen fled to Egypt and brought the quote Mesoamerican Mesopotamian culture with her to that region. 